Hi guys and uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be customizing this Porter Geist into a gender bent Frankie Stein. So we've nearly got him freed of his packaging here. Let's get started. So first off we're going to chop off all his hair and we're going to cut it as close as we can to his scalp. Um, this is going to make it easier to reroot him later, and it'll make it easier to get the hair out of the head. So once he is clean shorn, you're going to take a blow dryer and warm up the head. Um, yes, my blow dryer is disgusting, uh, but I only use this one for artwork, so it's a little uh, grungy. You're doing this to soften the plastic on the head to make it easier to get off. Even then, it's still pretty difficult to get off. You can see me struggling here. Um, I even resorted to trying a pair of pliers at one point, but don't do that. Um, it just takes patience, so and you just got to be gentle with it, and you'll get it off. I tried a couple of tools here, a pair of needle nose pliers and then these uh, purple tweezers. But um, ultimately, I found the best thing to use were these long needle-like tweezers. They were really great for scraping the inside and getting the glue out. Um, here I am starting the reroute. Um, this was my very first reroute ever. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty darn good. I learned a lot from it, actually. Um, my reroute tool is homemade. I made it from a needle that I uh, chopped off part of the eye and then I super glued it into a uh, just part of a wooden dowel. And it may not be fancy, but it really does the trick. So I've actually cut quite a bit of this process out. It took me well over a day to finish rerouting his hair. Um, it takes a lot of patience. To do this. This hair was actually cannibalized from some old wigs that I don't use anymore. Saved me a little money. So this glue is called Liquid Fusion, and what you do is you, uh, you squirt it on the inside, and you just rub it around with a q-tip until everything's nice and coated, and that'll lock all the hair that you've rooted in there. So off camera, I um, used boiling water to tame down his mane, and I'm just giving him a little trim here to uh, even up all the, the ends. All right, so wouldn't be Frankie Stein without neck bolts. So we are going to Dremel in some pilot holes for those neck bolts. And yes, my hair is messy. Messy hair don't care. So once you've achieved the depth that you're looking for, um, I took some uh, some finishing nails and uh, just checking them how big I want them to be here. Once I've established that I'm going to take a marker and mark where I'm going to cut them with the wire cutting portion of my needle nose pliers. So you just go ahead and do that twice. Here I am just checking to make sure that they fit correctly. And then I'm going to take this super glue by BSI. And I love this stuff, it dries super fast and super strong. And then you just uh, install the, the bolts with a pair of pliers. Oh, 
All right, next step, we're gonna take some acetone or nail polish remover, and we're gonna remove the factory paint. Once you've got his face nice and clean, you're actually going to give him a bath or you're going to clean him off with some warm soapy water. Um, I just use a mild dish detergent and that seems to do the trick. And then it'll just take off any oils that were deposited by my hands. It'll take off any residue left from the acetone as well. So this, my sealant of choice is Mr. Super Clear and Matte. So I gave him a few coats in this before I got started. And first things first, I'm gonna take some watercolor pencils and I'm going to sketch out where I want his stitches to be. And I'm doing this in a color that's very close to his skin shade. That way if I make any mistakes, they're not as noticeable. And uh, if I try to erase them, they'll actually disappear. I'm just going to go in with uh, some chalk pastels here and uh, give his body some contouring. Um, you're just basically following the natural contours of the sculpt to emphasize them.
Now, <clears throat> it's also worth noting that if you don't use a sealant beforehand, such as Mr. Super Clear, um, the pastels aren't going to stick nearly as well to the doll. Um, the nature of this plastic is that it's molded very, very smooth, and so it needs a little bit of um, tooth or roughness for the pastels to really grab onto, um, and that's what the sealant will provide. Uh, so you seal first, you do your work, you can seal again and keep building color, um, which I wound up doing on the face, but I only wound up sealing the body uh, prior and after. I'm just taking some watercolor pencils and I'm giving him some uh, nipples, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, part of this process was lost, but uh, the, my camera stopped recording. Um, but what I'm doing now is I'm essentially taking silver acrylic paint and I am painting on his stitches. Um, the part that's missing is me outlining them in black and then drawing on the seams of his body in black as well. So when you're done working on the body, you're just going to take that outside and seal it with some Mr. Super Clear. And when that's dry, you're going to wrap him up like a mummy so you don't lose the work that you just did. And you're going to start on the face. And so I'm using a mix of chalk pastels, watercolor pencils, um, I'll, I'll wind up using a little bit of acrylic on his face, acrylic paint on his face as well. Um, So before I go in with black, I always sketch things out with a lighter color because, as mentioned before, it makes it easier to erase any mistakes. They're not as glaring and obvious. Um, and don't be afraid to uh, flip your doll around and uh, just make it easier on your dominant hand to draw. Now, as I mentioned before, um, you can really build up the color on this by uh, by working in layers. So essentially what you do is you get as much color payoff as you can from the pastels and the colored pencils in one layer, and then you take him outside and you seal him with some more Mr. Super Clear. You let that dry for a half an hour, and then you lay down another layer, and you'll get even more color payoff from that, and you just keep doing that until you're satisfied.
So a little trick when you're drawing the irises, if you want the doll to make to if you really want to make the doll look like it's looking straight forward at you, draw the draw the irises closer to the bridge of the nose. Um, a lot of people have a tendency to draw them in the center of the eyeball. And what, if you do that on both eyes, what will wind up happening is your doll will look like it's looking in two different directions. There are a lot of wall-eyed dolls out there. You don't want yours to be one of them.
Alright, so we're almost done with the face here. I'm just adding some uh, eye shines to the irises. I'm doing this with white acrylic paint. some last minute uh, highlights in white. Now, it wouldn't be Frankie Stein without her signature stitches on the face. So what I'm doing here is I'm once again taking that silver acrylic paint, and then I'm going to go around the edges of those staples with a little bit of black, and I'm going to do the, um, the seam on, her skin, on his skin with, uh, with black as well. Take this nice and slow, very, very small detail work. All right, and the final step for the face is we're gonna take some uh, high gloss liquid varnish by Liquitex. It can be any brand though, it's just the one I like. And we're gonna gloss the lips and the eyeballs with it to give them uh, a little bit more life. And there you have it. If you follow it along, you'll have your very own custom gender-bent Frankie Stein. I want to thank everybody for hanging in for this 30-minute uh, long video. I know it's quite the whopper to watch, but uh, hope you learned something from it. Hope you enjoyed the process. And I couldn't be more proud of this guy here. Oh, I have to say I'm so proud of those shoes. They took forever to paint. <laughs> Once again, guys, I just want to thank you for uh, hanging in there and watching this video with me. And... Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and uh, have a great day, guys. Happy customizing.